From marijuana to school vouchers to illegal immigration, Republicans left Raleigh with a lot of unfinished business as they struggled to reach an agreement on key issues during the legislative session. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh with a closer look at why and what's next. Michael? Yeah, well, they passed several bills in the final hours of the session. Republicans could not resolve some major differences, even on some issues that they largely agreed on. With a billion dollar surplus, the legislature wrapped up this week with Republicans still at odds over what to do with it. They approved additional funding for child care, but left Raleigh with no agreement on broader budget changes. Do you feel like the last couple of months were well spent? Uh, I wish we had been able to get more done. Republicans in the House and Senate came back in April agreeing on the goal of providing hundreds of millions of dollars to the state school voucher program. But it didn't happen. Uh, I am at a loss to explain. The good news is, is unlike a lot of states, we're not sitting here look, looking at a giant hole that we have to fill. We have a surplus. Republicans never reached agreement on legalizing medical marijuana or on a bill that would have required sheriffs to cooperate with federal immigration officials. It's surprising how little legislation we've actually gotten done. And of course, we're not actually passing a, a budget update. In the final days, the legislature did place a constitutional amendment on the ballot to clarify that only U.S. citizens can vote and passed a bill to combat human trafficking. They also voted to override more of Governor Roy Cooper's vetoes, including on a controversial bill dealing with masks and campaign finance. Republicans say they'll continue their talks and plan to return later this year. We're going to try to get the rest done uh, whenever we can. Republican leaders say they plan to hold votes again after the November election. They are scheduled to be in Raleigh again before that, but it's not clear if they'll take any action before the election. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, Queen City News.